Yo guys, what's going on? It is Catman227 here, and I'm back with some more Warframe. Now, today we're going to be talking about why I like Loki. Now, Loki I got because, um, I, I kind of had to get him regardless. Just because I'm not really that big of a fan of Ivara, so I just prefer Loki just because Loki looks cooler and he has like a, a teleporting ability uh, maybe his cloaking isn't as good as Ivara's but he's still pretty damn good now Loki Loki is one that I needed to get for a few reasons uh, number one being uh, for the new update that came out with the relics now I needed him for the relics because sometimes we have to do uh, spy missions and spy missions you have to be extremely stealthy which is something that I am not and Oberon just you know he wasn't cutting it he was just he wasn't doing the job right so I'm like well if I get Loki I should be able to cloak and teleport places and I've been using him for spy missions ever since he's pretty much my go-to frame every time I uh, want to do a stealth mission now that being said uh, I, I I know I'm doing a defense mission right now just um, by the way just so you're gonna be seeing a lot of me doing defense mission defense missions let me just throw that out there right now just because um, defense missions can go on for as long as you need them to and I can talk and talk and talk until the time runs out on the video so that's why I keep doing defense missions, even though I probably should be doing a spy mission to kind of demonstrate some of his abilities on how good they are. But, hey. Um, I like to have time to talk about stuff, not whenever the mission tells me I have to stop. So, um... Plus, he's also kind of good in defense missions as well. Like, let's say there's... Uh, let's say there's like a an enemy who's very powerful and he's doing damage to the uh, to the power core here it uh, you can teleport him away from it so it's like for instance if I wanted to okay like okay Okay, so that's actually another thing I want to talk to you about. This guy does not do... This is a clone of yourself. He only has a pistol, but it's only to distract enemies. That's what I like about it. Loki is a pretty weak Warframe. So, if you can have a target like that distract your enemies... Like, this is a, this is the strategy I normally use with with this first ability. He shoots, it attracts enemies to him, and if you have a Kubru, the Kubru will kill the enemies that are surrounding your clone. That's why a Kubru is Loki's best friend, essentially. Now, I also like this ability here. This is your teleporting ability. This allows you to pretty much teleport anywhere you need to as long as like you see look at this like I need to go way over there it was like that see so there you go now this is another reason why I like it if we can just get an enemy next to the thing I believe you can teleport places with yes you can you can trade places with your teammates okay here we go let's say he's attacking the uh, god Dang it, Subaki. Um, let's say he's attacking the power core. You can just trade places with him. And then you can do it with teammates, too. I think you can. Yeah. See? Like, I want to kill this enemy. So it's like, you can be like a real troll with it. Um, you could definitely be a troll with it. You could be a massive douche if you wanted to. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not like that. But... Yeah, teleporting ability and your clone is definitely the most useful thing that Loki has. That's why Loki is a must-have. Um, 
I do, however, like... Um, this is his cloaking ability. It doesn't last very long. It lasts maybe 11 seconds. But it's still pretty useful if you just need to run past everything. And uh, if you time it right, you can actually just stay invisible. Although they will shoot at your last known location, so... I would suggest moving before you try to kill anybody. Now, think about it like this. If you're invisible, and you're using... This is... Th people say, well, why do you use a bow all the time? Well, I use the bow for Loki simply because it's quiet. Which means if you're invisible, and you shoot, they still won't know where your location is. However, if you switch to, for instance, uh, your pistol... Like, if you have a loud weapon, like a rifle or a machine gun or anything like that, they'll definitely hear you. Which is why I would definitely suggest have uh, a decent melee weapon, definitely uh, throwing knives or a suppressed weapon, and maybe a bow. And, uh... Then you should be good for the cloaking sequence. I, I think you can also, if you switch to your melee... Let's try to find an enemy here. I think you can do a stealth kill like this. Can you? Apparently not. I I maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I I don't really know. But um but yeah, that's Loki's that's def that's that's a really good ability. I really love the cloaking ability, especially for spy missions. And if you do a spy mission, you can just throw down one of these things. And then there you go. Then you can just go invisible and then get away while they're attacking it. This, I think, has 20 seconds before it goes away. So it's it's more than enough. Um, now, there is his fourth ability, which is, in my opinion, not exactly the best. I'll show you. Watch. See, I don't even know... All it does is disarm them. But, I, I mean, I guess that's good, but... I mean, sure, it's good. It is good. Uh, don't, don't, let me, don't let me say it's bad. I would just prefer... I mean, why would you need to disarm them if, um... Okay, we can't really... Since this is an infected mission, we can't exactly disarm them. Actually, wait, can we disarm these little... Actually, wait, no. I'm just gonna go invisible and take this guy out because I don't want to waste... I, I kind of wasted all my energy. So... There we go. Uh, if I can get some more, but yeah, that's you basically disarm them, which, which the the enemies that are in your radius, you can disarm disarm them. Now the problem that I have with that is, you're not really going to be dis disarming anybody because why do you need to do that when you can just throw down a minion and have your Kubru kill those guys while you just go invisible and kill everyone else? It kind of doesn't make it. It, it kind of doesn't make any sense on why you would want to disarm them, if you can go. If you can just go invisible and they can't shoot you anyway. But yet again, not a bad, not a bad ability. It's just not the best that he has. There are better abilities that he has, in my opinion. But that is just my opinion. If if you like the disarming thing, don't don't let me put you down. Um. But yeah, I definitely love Loki just because he's so good at uh, spy missions. And spy missions are very, very difficult to do, especially for me. I know some of you are just like, oh, no, they're really easy. No, uh, for me, they're very difficult. Okay, I'm not stealthy at all, and I don't really like Ivara, so... Ivara's like a really weird Warframe to do. So, I would much prefer just use Loki... Um, Loki's not exactly a bad frame. I mean, he's very good. Uh, I would definitely suggest him to anybody who is having difficulty playing um, spy missions. But uh, I think uh, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Sorry if this one seems a little bit short. 
Um, I just didn't have that much to say about Loki. Um, but like, comment, subscribe, and let me know which frame you want me to review next. Later, guys.